Hi, my name is Anne and welcome to my channel, Lilacs and Lilies. Today, we are going to have edition one of a series that I would like to do, practicing how to pronounce. Now, today we're going to be talking about the countries in the Americas that I find that when we put them in English, they maybe sound a little differently than they do in Spanish, for example, or in another language. And so if these countries here, if you have difficulty pronouncing any of these, stick around and we will figure out how to say them, one in English and two with more of maybe an American accent. First, we will remember that when we look at words, sometimes in English this will happen, but the pronunciation and how it's written is maybe a little bit different. This might mean that with a general American accent, maybe our T's sound a little bit like D's, or our stress on a vowel is a little different. What I will do is I'm going to put the country name up here, and then I'm going to kind of write it the way that maybe it sounds instead of just the way that it looks. A normal, kind of a made-up IPA. We'll go ahead and we will start with where I am from, which is the United States of America. So this is the full name, the United States of America. And it's very important that we use the here, right? We're always using the before it. We can do the United States of America. So this is the full name. However, many times we're not really gonna say that. We might say the United States. Okay, the, get that uh, uh sound, Americans love that, united, sometimes that T becomes a D, states, we have a cat, hi, do you want to help us? Apparently we have a visitor, you want to say it, you want to learn how? So we have the U.S. would be the other option. The U.S. Or maybe the U.S.A. But many times we might see the United States, the U.S., or the U.S.A., okay? Let's put you somewhere else, okay? <sighs> okay, <laughs> our number two is Canada, Canada. So sometimes we'll see that can, we can go uh, duh, or Canada, depends, right? You might hear both. We're not going to say Canada. <laughs> no, you're not gonna go that way, Canada. Mm -mm. So we'll go Canada, Canada. Let's go ahead and go to number three. Mexico. 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 So this one's interesting because sometimes if we see from Spanish, we might want to do a Mexico. But in English, we're going to get that X sound. X, X. So we'll Mexico. Co. Okay. We're really gonna get those spread out. Mexico. Let's move on to our number four. Cuba. Cuba. So we know that from Spanish we might get Cuba. But in English we love a good Cuba. Right? That U becomes instead of U, it's going to be U. Cuba. Okay, and we get that uh sound. You'll see that in many of these, we get this uh sound. Americans love this. It's called the schwa. If you want to learn more about that, you can check up here. I'm going to be doing a video on that next week. So hopefully that'll be up for you. But yes, that uh sound, okay? Our next one is going to be Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. 
Puerto Rico is Spanish, right? Puerto Rico. But in English, I'm going with the most stereotypical, right? That kind of taking a Spanish or taking a different name. And we're gonna, you know, hear maybe a native speaker, especially if they don't speak Spanish, we might see a Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. The next one is going to be a similar idea, right? In Spanish, we have La República Dominicana. Right? This is going to translate into English. We're going to have the, right, that is important, right? the Dominican Republic. The Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. Okay? Have you practiced that? Very good. Our next one is going to be this one, Jamaica. So I picked this one because some other languages we might see more of a sound with our J. But we know that in English we get this J, J sound. Okay? J, Jamaica, 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 okay? Jamaica. Our next one is Haiti, Haiti. We see that T with many American accents will become more of a D sound, Haiti. Now we know that it could be Haiti, right? That might be more accurate, but we see a lot of native speakers going Haiti, Haiti. Okay. Our next is going to be Guatemala, right? Spanish, Guatemala but we're going to go Guatemala. Guatemala, Guatemala, okay, Guatemala. Same thing, right? That T becomes a little bit of a D sound, Guada, g -g -g Guada, Guatemala. Our next one going further down is Honduras, Honduras. We know that in Spanish we might have Honduras, Honduras, but in English we're going to take that H-O-N, we're going to go Hon, right, Dur, and then we'll go Us, Us, that uh, uh sound, Honduras, or maybe Honduras, you might hear a native speaker might say Honduras. Next one is Brazil, Brazil. Now we know in our Portuguese, right, we have Brazil, Brazil, <laughs> but in English we're going to go bra, that uh, uh, uh sound, bra, zil, Brazil. Next we have this one right here. We know in Spanish is Argentina, maybe, maybe a different accent might be different, but Argentina. But in English we are going to go ahead and do that R. Argentina, Argentina. Get that Jin sound a little bit. Instead of Gen, we'll go Jin. Argentina. Get that uh uh sound. Right, uh. Second to last is going to be Chile. <laughs> Chile. Now, this one, it sounds a little weird, right? We have our Spanish, could be Chile. Chile. Okay? But we do have chili in English. We might hear a native speaker of English might say chili. It's very common, like chili. And our last one, right, is going to be this one up here. We have Uruguay. Now this one might sound a little strange, right? We might want to go with Uruguay. But in English, many times we'll notice that that U starting out, we might go Uruguay. 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 So all of these different words are words that obviously you can say them with more of the Spanish influence or you can try to say it in more of a neutral way. But the objective of this video is to go ahead and show you what native speakers might actually sound like if they're saying these countries. This does not mean that it is if you say Cuba or you say Uruguay or if you say Chile. These are all what the names are. That's totally okay. But if you'd like to be able to maybe get a little bit more of that 
American English sound, we are gonna see these things happening, right? We're gonna get a lot of O's, and we're gonna get a lot of edas, or we're gonna get that yer, that er sound, okay? So with all of these different countries, we have a little bit of a difference, and let's go ahead, we'll review these here, okay? I'm gonna put them up here, and you'll go ahead and say it, and I'm gonna say it one more time as our review, okay? All right, we'll start with number one. Good. The United States. The United States. Canada. Canada. Mexico. Mexico. Good. Cuba. Cuba. Uh, uh. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. The Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic. Jamaica, Jamaica, Haiti, Haiti, Guatemala, Guatemala, Honduras, Honduras. Brazil, Brazil, Argentina, Argentina, Chile, Chile, and Uruguay, Uruguay. I hope that these were helpful. I just picked a few of the countries that sound a little differently than they do when we look at English to maybe Spanish, especially within the Americas. We might get countries like Nicaragua or we might get countries like Belize, but usually these aren't drastically different between maybe the native language of Spanish to English. So I've chosen these here to be able to try to help you a little bit with maybe even just your listening. If you hear someone say that country, you'll know what they're trying to say, right? Let me know if you have other countries within the Americas in particular that you would like to hear. I am working on another one where we'll have another group of countries to practice, but I hope that this one was helpful for you. Next week, keep an eye out. We're going to be playing with the schwa next week, if you even know what that is, right? We'll find out next week. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like or check out some of these other videos that I have. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye guys. Our next country is going to... <laughs> Dude. I want to learn too. Super fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay,